Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take this program template and create a button where I can click this button, and it's going to one-click print this program to a PDF that I can now email to my athletes or clients. This is going to be a really powerful trick if you are sending out programs and you want to ensure that they're being seen the same way every time in a PDF format. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're starting off with the program template that I showed in the intro video. And this is just an example of a template that I might send to my athletes or clients and a couple of key features. It's got a pre-workout area, um, some, some strength training area where we can program some exercises and some different weights, and then an accessory area, a mood scale, and some opportunities to add post-workout um, stretches and things, and then a notes section. And this is the template that I kind of used for years that I would send to my online clients. And they would fill this out um, and send it back to me. Now, what I would do with this, with this template is I would send it actually as a PDF. And then they would write all over it and take a picture of it and send it back. And that way I could get an idea of what their training was. What I'm going to show you how to do today is create a button where I can click that button and then save this program as a PDF and then that will allow me to email this to different clients. Before we get started just a quick reminder that if these videos are helping you out then please like and subscribe to the channel and if you could comment on the video and share the video and all those types of things um, that really helps the channel grow and it really helps me dedicate more time to putting out new videos. Also, if you are interested in a future video on how to create this template that is actually on the screen, um, leave a comment down below and let me know and maybe in the future I will do a video on how to create this template and then all of the features that I had with it including batch printing, automatic update of weights based on 1RMs, drop down menus for exercises, um, automatic supersets, all kinds of different sort of features. So um, leave a comment down below if you're interested in learning how to make this template um, and then I'll create some videos around that. And now let's get into sort of how to create the PDF version of this template. Now in order to do this we're gonna have to use some VBA coding and we're gonna have to actually make our own macro. You do not have to actually know how to code to create your own macro. If it's something that you would do all of the time in your programming anyways, you can actually use a button on the developer tab. And if you don't have the developer tab enabled, what you have to do is go into file um, and then options and go down to the customized ribbon. You can turn the developer tab on there. The feature that we're going to use on this developer tab is actually the record a macro feature. And what the record a macro feature is going to do for us is it's going to allow us to actually record the steps in coding language for a task that we might do in our actual sheet. So for example, if you are always highlighting a certain cell, you can record a macro that when you click it, it's automatically going to do that for you. In this case, we're going to use it to automatically save a PDF document. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to hit record macro and it's going to ask me what I want to name my macro. And for the purposes of this video, I am going to name this save PDF tutorial. And that is going to be the macro that we are going to create. I'm going to hit OK. And now you're going to notice down in the bottom left hand corner, there is actually a macro is currently recording. Click to stop recording. So it's going to actually record anything that I do in the sheet. So what we want to do is actually save this file as a PDF. So to do that, I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to go down to Save As. I'll go to More Options. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And I have a folder called Save Folder. And I'm going to click there. And then I'm going to name this Program 1. And I am going to go to Save As Type. I'll go down to PDF and hit Save. And what you're going to notice is that it is going to save that as a PDF and the same way that we did in the video we now have a PDF of that file and it is called program one so I'm going to close this and then I'm going to stop recording my macro 
So now that I have my macro actually recorded, what I could do is I can just go to my macros and you're gonna see save PDF tutorial and I should be able to click that and hit run. And it's going to run that and it should open a PDF called program one, just the way that we actually wanted it to in the same way. And I could click that macro as many times as I wanted and it is always gonna run that file and it is gonna always call the file program one and that would work every time that I click that button as long as I didn't delete the folder where I'm saving it and as long as the path was always the same. So that's an easy way to create that macro but I'm gonna add a couple of customizations to this where you can actually have a box on your sheet that you're gonna name your program in and then have a little button that we can click to automatically run that macro. So I'm going to insert some columns on the left hand side here. I'll insert a few and I'm going to put in A2, I'm going to put name program and I'm going to just make that a little bit bigger give it some double dots and then I'm going to put a space in B2 where we can actually put down the name of our program. So let's call this program for video so that's where we're going to actually save the name of our program. Now let's go in and edit the code so that we can take advantage of that. So I'm going to go to Developer, Visual Basic, and I'm going to go down to Module 2. And you're going to see our actual macro that we recorded. And it's called Save PDF Tutorial. And anything with a single exclamation or a single quotation beside it is commented out so that's not going to be a part of the actual macro so I'm just going to delete all those and this is the actual code that we've kind of done so you can see when I started recording my macro I actually clicked on cell J24 so it's put that right in the macro so I'm going to delete that and then it's created the directory and this is the directory where I want to save it so it's my desktop and then save folder and then this is the code to actually create the PDF. And it is export as fixed format, x1 type PDF, file name equals my directory, and then program one because that's what we named it, and then all of the other code here. And you can see there's one more that's important. Um, at the end it says open file after publish, and it says true. If I was to turn that to false when I actually ran the macro, it wouldn't open the file when I was done clicking through the macro. It would just leave it closed. So, like I said, you can run this code a bunch of times and it is going to work every time, but I'm going to show you how to actually edit this code a little bit and make it just a little bit more powerful. So the first thing we're going to have to do is define some dimensions. So dim, and I'm going to create a dimension called save path. And this is going to be where I store the actual um, path that I want to save my file in so I'm going to have to create a string and what a string is is it's a collection of text all strung together into one component that Excel can reference and then the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to define another variable so dim and we're going to call it program name and we want to define this as a range because we're going to store this range on our actual sheet so now we have to do some things with these variables that we've defined and when you're creating macros in Excel you just use the dim to define a different variable and dim stands for dimensions. So the first thing we're going to do is set our program name. So we want to set program name and we want it to be equal to sheet and we're working on sheet 2 right now for our video file sheet 2.range and then where did we actually store the program name? You can see we've actually stored it in B2. So I'm going to hit B2 and then close that off. So that's going to be our program name. So we're, we've said set our program name to be equal to sheet 2 range B2. So anything that we type in B2 is going to be our actual program name. And then we want to create our save path. So save path equals and we're going to have it equal to that path that we actually had from before. My desktop has a folder on it called save folder and that's why that's there. And then we want it to be in a backward slash 
because we want to add another directory. So you can see all the way through here, we've used backward slashes and then in program name. So what this is going to now save is when we've used save path, it's going to go to save folder, then add another background slash or a backslash, and then add the program name on top of that. And then we can delete this chr or uh, chdir that can go away. Let's for good coding purposes, let's bring this up a little bit. Come on up. There we go. And now where it says file name equals, instead of all of this um, code, where it says C users, et cetera, et cetera, um, program one.pdf, we can now just type in save path there. And this code should now, when we click it, actually save a new program with the B2 program name in the path that we've specified. So let's see if it works. So I'm going to exit this and we are going to run this macro and the one that we have is save PDF tutorial and we'll run it. And did it open a new file? Yes, it did. And it is called program for video. And if I were to go to my desktop and go to my save folder, you can see that we do have a file in there called program for video. So that works perfectly. I'll open my Excel back up. So that's, that's how you edit the code to make it automatically save a PDF. Now the last thing we want to do is actually just create a button that we can press to run it. So I'm going to insert and we're going to insert an icon and it's going to give us a whole bunch of options here. I'm going to just choose a file and I like something like this because that kind of looks like a PDF and I'll insert that in my actual sheet and then I'll maybe color that a little bit so that it looks more like a PDF file. And then if I right click on this, I can go down to actually assign a macro and I'm gonna choose the save PDF for tutorial. Hit okay. Let's try this icon trial. And if I click this, I should open a PDF called icon trial. And you can see up here, the name is icon trial.pdf and it will be saved in the same folder. So that is how you record a macro and then edit the code so that you can name the file whatever you want, as well as assign that to an image or a button so that you can click that over and over and over again. And it will allow you to create as many PDFs as you want and rename the file each time. So I hope this trick helps you out and makes your life a little bit easier when you want to create some PDF files for your athletes or clients. If it did, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and share the video, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.